Oh. Where? I guess. So this is the Western Wall at night. It's like really more striking, I think. So they made me put one of these on. I guess that makes, fits the part. I'm really bundled up today. It's freezing. To me, it's freezing anyway. I'm thinking this might be some kind of special occasion or something because I don't see any tourists here today, tonight. Just faithful. They even made me put on a yarmulke. So the women aren't allowed to be on this side. They have separation, strict separation of men and women. The women are over here. Section. There's a woman's side. They pray there, and the men pray over here. Typical Middle Eastern cultures, even Christians are like that. The churches, churches would be separated with the woman's side and the man's men's side. And of course, Islam is very strict separation. No, we don't, this has to be a special night service of some sort. Okay, my scouting mission is I want to go on that tomorrow and from 7.30 till 10.30 a non-Muslim can go up to the Temple Mount. I think that's called like a the bridge for the non-believers. <laughs> they go up that way. If you don't, if you're not Islamic, then you're a non-believer. You know, Jerusalem is the uh, center of it all, of all the, you know, religion, um, basically of the world, really. And there's so much division and conflict. You know, I guess I start down here. Excuse me. Excuse me. T tomorrow morning, uh, I think seven thirty. This is open to non-Muslims. Seven o'clock. Huh? Open seven o'clock. Seven o'clock yes. to non-Muslims. Yes. And I would go. It's only five minutes, maybe ten tops from my hotel. But it's not easy navigation. It's like weird. It's not like a street you can walk. Now, last time I was here, I went up that way. But that, oh, that really was more difficult. Okay, so here we go. This way. Yeah, that's where I came in because there's the uh, security gate. Yeah, this is the way I came down. Again, forgive the shaky video. I uh, basically didn't uh, have my gimbal camcorder with me. No, there. 
He said go right. He didn't go right. At least there's not the mob that uh, you find in the afternoon and mornings. I have to get here by 7 o'clock or 7.30 maybe. I'm going to spend two and a half hours up here. So if I get here by 7.30, I'm good. There won't be anybody on this trail, on this street then either. Sunday nights are dead everywhere. I even found in New York City, sun Sundays are dead. Seriously? Walk any steps. You don't have to go to the gym. It's just like a workout. Unbelievable workout, actually. You can choose. You can go up the ramp. I guess it's for wheelchair accessible. Yeah, right. I feel secure when I see the soldiers around for some reason. <laughs> Is near. City of Hills. Mount Mariah is where we were just at. And Mount Zion's here. We're in that area. Plus, there's the Mount of Olives. I wish there was a good bakery. I just would love to have one of those street bagels, but I'm not gonna buy one off the street. Those long, elongated bread things. I'm go back down the mall, maybe I'll find one. <clears throat> Honestly, it feels like midnight to me. And it's only 7.30. I'm just going to go to Aroma for a quick pastry. The door even open for me. I don't know. What the heck are those? Look like macarons, but they're not. I don't see a bagel in sight. So, we'll relax here for a little bit, have a coffee. One thing's a date pastry, and the other one's a halva pastry. I guess it's made with tahini or something. They, they love tahini here. I even got it on my, uh, whenever I ordered this morning, the shakushka. I didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> 